Bhushan with us on the phone. Prashant Bhushan, this is a blow to you seeking that uh, that plea to for an, a probe into the Prime Minister. The court has very clearly said that uh, when you are making such allegations against top functionaries, then diaries cannot be considered proof. The, the proof that you have provided clearly not considered adequate by the court. It's not a blow to me. It's a blow to the people of this country, to the citizens who want a corruption-free environment in this country who want uh, the corrupt to be brought to book. It's a blow to the Supreme Court itself and to the reputation of the Supreme Court itself because the Supreme Court today has let down the people of this country, has gone against the precepts that they have been holding up and at least stating all along that be you ever so high, the law is above you and that everybody is equal under the law. And its own constitution been judgment, recent judgment, which says that whenever such information comes, you have to register an FIR and investigate. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court's order today shows that when it comes to dealing with high and mighty people, sometimes the court uh, wilts under that pressure. This is what today's order shows. That's a serious charge that you make, Prashant Bhushan, against the Supreme Court uh, bench that was hearing your uh, case uh, because you're saying that when the high and mighty are being questioned, even the Supreme Court buckles under pressure. It was earlier in the case of 2G and Colgate scams uh, that the same uh, court had taken a very strident uh, position. Do you think yeah, the, court, uh, the change court, in court regime has judges, caused this uh, judges, change in uh, direction? Yes, there is this, this clearly, to my mind, goes against all the propositions laid down in the 2G case and the Colgate case and Lalita Kumari's case, etc. There are cases and cases, there are judges and judges, and unfortunately that is what happened during the emergency. When the Supreme Court bench in that habeas corpus case wilted under the pressure uh, of uh, the then establishment. And unfortunately, uh, 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 this seems to be what has happened today as well. Mr. Uh, Prashant Bhushan, you are also wearing a political hat as uh, uh, the Swaraj Abhiyan uh, founder. Uh, let me ask you a political question now. Rahul Gandhi has used your PIL that you admitted in the Supreme Court of India to raise certain allegations against Prime Minister Narendra Modi through several rallies. What happens to all these allegations that have been raised by Rahul Gandhi? Do they fall flat now? I don't think so. You see, what happened in the Beaufort case, uh, this is what I told the court today also, that look, uh, these are now matters in public domain. These documents are in public domain. They have created an impression in the public mind that uh, monies have been paid, monies have been received by top political functionaries. And even for resolving this uh, doubt which has been created or this uh, feeling which has been created in the minds of ordinary people, the court needs to have this matter investigated and put it to rest once and for all. But if you put it to rest in this manner, by not even having it investigated and by saying that these are some uh, loose papers, etc., which are totally unreliable, I mean, how can you say that they are unreliable on this basis? In the Birla case, there are a large volume of documents. There are diaries which are recovered. There are emails which are recovered, hundreds of emails which are recovered, which are cross-referenced, which corroborate, which are, uh, show payments to the Ministry of Environment at the time when 13 environmental clearances had been obtained by the Birla group of companies, which show payment to the coal ministry when uh, 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 coal leases were given to the, uh, to the company. So therefore, how can you just dismiss them out of hand without even any investigation? This will only strengthen suspicion. But Mr. Prashant Bhushan, but Mr. Prashant Bhushan, the government and the BJP might argue with you that you are being a bad loser. The Supreme Court has found no merit in the case that you've put forth before them. The documents haven't been seen as something uh, that uh, could stand the scrutiny of uh, the highest court of law in the land. And also we understand uh, that there is uh, uh, also a CFSL report uh, that exists that clearly says that uh, these uh, are, uh, uh, you know, documents that are uh, not really dependable. In such a scenario, what, it, what would your uh, response to the BJP be before I get in a BJP spokesperson on uh, this very question?
<laughs> my response is very simple the fact the mere fact that the supreme court passes an order does not mean that that's the gospel truth or that's the correct proposition the supreme court is also human it also makes mistakes and sometimes makes grievous mistakes and i believe that this is one of those cases where it has not only made a grievous mistake it has put back this whole uh, effort uh, to bring accountability of public servants through court monitored criminal investigation when the supreme uh, court mr prashant bhush